In case you didn't know, WooCommerce comes with a bunch of built-in blocks and one of those is this hand-picked products blocks. If you add it here, you can search for products, for example, this one and this one and some other products here and add them as you like. Now the issue I have with this block is that, as you see, it doesn't look any good. It takes its own styling and when you save it and take a look at the page, it looks like this. But my website catalog looks like this and therefore these products look different and I don't like it at all. I'm using a theme that allows me to display my products in three different views. This is the first one, this is the second view and there is also a third one which looks like this here. So when I publish it and refresh the shop page, this is my website. But this built-in hand-picked product blocks displays it in an awkward way. So therefore I had to build a plugin which solved this issue. And now I'm going to show you how to use it. The plugin is called WooCommerce Handpicked Products Blocks. It's a totally free plugin. I'm going to put the link to it in the video description. Also, I have built a bunch of other cool free plugins. Those are here. Just take a look at this download section on my site. But let's get to the plugin. I'm going to open up the page, delete this rubbish here. And instead, I'm going to add a new block here. If you scroll down, you'll see product blocks. The plugin I created it contains six blocks, handpicked products, handpicked category, category grid, brand grid, product tax grid, and add to cart block. Let's start with handpicked products. Now, first, let's select the product, whatever it is, this one or that one or whatever it is. You can also search by name, SKU or ID. Let's search for some movie here. Now let's add these products here. When you scroll down, you'll see these are the products I have selected. I can delete them if needed. And now when I apply, they will be applied to the page. You can reorder them by clicking on the arrow here. And if you need to delete any of those, just delete using this icon. Now on the right, you'll see you can select how many products per page you would like to display. If you want to display, for example, only two, then you'll see this button gets active. You can reset the selection by clicking on this button. Then you'll show all products. I'm going to display four columns. No pagination is needed, but if needed, I can add it here. Although, let's test it. So, I'm going to select a bunch of random products just to display how does the pagination looks like. Okay, products per page is four, columns four, show pagination. Next you have some sorting options. You can order by title, date, ID, menu order, popularity, random or rating, and ordering options. Okay, let's save it. Let's preview the page. And now you'll see four products with the same pagination that my regular shop page has. There are a couple of other options. I can delete all those products here and I can display only sale products with a similar setup. Let's refresh it and you'll see these are the sale products here. If I have any featured products or best selling products that are on sale, then once again, I can do it here. So this is the handpicked products block. Next block I'm going to add is called handpicked category, this one here. You'll see it displays all the categories my shop has. Now, when I want to display products only from this category and this category, and maybe this one here, then I'm going to select it. Once again, how many products per page, columns, pagination, ordering, and also I can select that I want to display only the sale products, or if I want to exclude some products, I can do it here. So to test it, let's save. Let's view the page. These are the products. Let's imagine that I want to exclude this product. I'm going to search for it. I can add more than one if needed. But at the moment, I'm going to just choose this one. Eight products per page and two columns. Save. Refresh. Oh, two columns is not good. So let's add four columns. Save and refresh. And what do you know? The product I just excluded is not displayed here. 
Next block I have for you is category grid. Let's select it and add it to the page. Now I can select parent categories. Just as an example, as you see, I have movies as a parent category and music, two parent categories. So I'm gonna select movies and all these subcategories, that is box sets, digital, physical and streaming will be displayed on the page as a grid. I can hide empty categories. I can exclude some child categories and some sorting options. Let's save. Let's refresh the page. And this is the grid. Three column doesn't look any good. So let's create four columns, save it, refresh it. It will display the placeholder image. But when I open up any of those categories and when I add images to these categories, I'm going to redo it quickly. Last one, and let's add it here. Update, refresh the page. And what do you know? There are my category grids. Awesome. This was the third block. Now, next block is a similar, but this time it's called branch grid. Basically the same thing. There is no display available, but it works in a similar way. So let's select four columns. Just as an example, I have four brands added to my site. I'm going to display four columns. Now I can select the image height, that is logo height. I'm going to hide empty brands, some sorting options. You can also exclude brands. Just open up this selection here. Select the brand you would like to exclude from displaying on this grid and done. Okay, let's test it. Four columns because I have four brands available. I'm going to leave the hide empty brands activated. So let's save it. Let's take a look at the site. And what do you know? These are the three brands available. When you click on it, it will open up the brand archive page. Now let's test whether it shows all the brands and let's make the logo a bit smaller, 150 pixels. Let's refresh and there it is. So this is the brands block. There is also a product tax grid. It works in a similar way as the brands grid. So I'm not gonna show you how to do it because you already saw. Last block I wanna show you is called add to cart block. When I add it here, select the product. For example, let's select this product. It will display you the add to cart button. You can change the button title, for example, by now. You can select whether to show the price next to the button. As you see, I'm going to leave it as it is. First, enable Ajax add to cart and how many products will be added to the cart. There is a quantity. If you want to change the product, you can do it here. Let's save it. Let's refresh this page. I'm going to delete everything from my cart just to see whether it works. So by now, product added to the cart. Quantity three. Awesome. Next, I'm going to disable Ajax add to cart and I'm going to add only one product to the cart. Let's save it. Let's refresh the page. Now, when I click, you'll see page refreshes and this message is displayed. Works like a charm. Now, one last thing, the styling of this button, as you see in the page editor, it displays this color, but on a website, it uses this color and this color comes from the customizer itself. So if I take a look at the customizer, I'm using the Bloxy team. At the moment, I have button colors under the general options. So these are the background colors I have set up. As you see, when I change it, it changes also on the page. This block itself doesn't have any styling options, but if you take a look at the advanced settings, you can add your own CSS classes here and customize using CSS. Just add it to the customizer's additional CSS area. Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to customize WooCommerce My Account page. As you see, this is the default WooCommerce My Account page. I'm going to show you how to make it look like this one here. Much better. All the information are display it in a way I you like. You can search your orders, view the orders. If you need to change your address, just do it here. You can add your own menus, for example, if I want to show 
current deals, then just add it here and done. So hopefully within this or next week, I will be able to make this video. So stay tuned.